What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. In today's quick video, we're talking about the current status of Torin 15, which is the iOS 15 jailbreak that will be released by Coolstar. This video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device. Check it out in the link below. Also, thank you to the patrons who are supporting this channel on Patreon. They're right now on your screen. So yes, Torin jailbreak. It will be updated for iOS 15.0 all the way up to 15.1.1. And Coolstar has indeed made great progress. As you can see over here, they posted a couple of days ago that they finally got Amphid read and write task port. Previously, they got only read only task port for Amphid, but now they got read and write, which is definitely what we need for jailbreak purposes. Amphid is part of a greater system that ensures code signing and many other features on iOS that basically hinder jailbreaking. Amphid itself is a component, is the user land component of Amphi or Apple Mobile File Integrity, which handles code sign and stuff like that. If an application is not signed properly, Amphid and Amphi will work together to basically prevent it from starting, which is pretty bad if you want to run tweaks, because tweaks are usually fake signed. So this was indeed necessary if you wanted to apply patches. It looks like Teamstar is in this as well. They also posted this with got Amphid task port bye bye code sign. As I was speaking about code sign previously, this is one of the biggest parts of a jailbreak. If you can run unsigned code or at least fake signed code, you can can run tweaks, but if you can't, it means that you have to sign everything, which is pretty bad. Now, I summed up everything about the progress and stuff like that on my website, idevicecentral.com, and here there is an article called iOS 15.0 to 15.2 Torin 15 Jailbreak Latest News and Progress. And here you can see exactly which devices will be supported, whether this jailbreak will come with Cydia or Cilio, and also what is a rootless jailbreak, because Torin Jailbreak will indeed be rootless. So, if you want a full explanation, I went in detail on that article which will be in the description down below. But yes, Coolstar and Teamstar and probably the rest of the team finally got Amphid read and write task port which means bye bye code sign which also means that the tweaks can now run under iOS 15, which is great. Now, I'm not sure if libhooker is updated yet. They didn't say anything about that. Libhooker is necessary in order to load the tweaks, but with code sign basically bypassed, that shouldn't be a problem. So yes, definitely great progress, but do be patient. This takes time and iOS 15 has indeed changed a lot of things. You can read my article to see exactly what new things Apple has added in iOS 15 to make jailbreaking harder, but yes, it was indeed a challenge for Coolstar and their team and it's definitely great to see a jailbreak being built because iOS 15 did change a lot of things to hinder jailbreaking so we should all be thankful that somebody is indeed working on a jailbreak because I'm telling you something is definitely not easy. So thank you for watching I am Geosnow. Till the next time subscribe to stay updated with the latest news and peace out.